Most websites scroll up and down, but what if you want to have a feature where the user can slide to the right because you might have like a panoramic image or you want to show them some further details, but you don't want to clog up the home page or make it too long. It could be products, a carousel, it could be anything you want. Here's how you do it. I have gone and added in a container over here. This container is a full width, basically 100% width, full width, and I've set it to be a 70 VH. It's always good to make a note of what the height is. You can do VH, you can do pixels, minimum height, full screen, whatever you want to go for. I've also zeroed out the margin and padding as well. I'm going to drop the slides widget into here. Now you could drop in a image carousel, a testimonial carousel. I mean, regardless of what we put in here, and we are going to modify it ever so slightly just so you understand, but you could create a template and then drop the short code in as well if you want to have something really bespoke. Because with slides, obviously, you're going to be a little bit limited. But let me very quickly show you a very basic style. We're just going to put in a background image and I'm going to move all of my wording to be on the left. Not going to bother modifying the content, by the way. Now, if you do want to do custom styling between your slides, you have got that facility. But like I said, you could go and create a template and drop the short code in. I'm then going to duplicate this and just have four more slides. Now the key bit after adding in your content is to ensure that the height for all of them is equal to the height of your container. So we set it to be a VH of 70 so let's do the same over here. Because what you don't want to do is have any like white spaces around it. Again that's why I set the margin and the padding to be zero as well. Now here's the really really key bit about what we're going to do. At the moment this is going to slide okay and if I just show you over here if I just get rid of this this is a slider. But if I try and stop it here, it kind of moves to the next one. Look, you can't really stop it. So here's what you do. In the slider options, let's get rid of the navigation. We're also going to get rid of autoplay and we're going to get rid of infinite loop. And you're probably thinking, really? What are you doing here? The transition is going to be a slide. Leave it at that. The content animation is going to be none. If you have any content animation as per the slider option, it breaks things a little bit. If you want to add it to your template and then drop a short code in, you can get away with that. But here's the really key, key thing. Transition speed 500. Change that to say 9,999 then hit update and by the way don't worry about the fact that this is sliding like that because that is not how it will work and then the final thing you need to do is go to style for all of the slides or the testimonial carousel or however you're building it and ensure the width is set to a full 100% if you do not set it to 100% you will get a little bit of a slide effect so the key bits were remember we went and set our height to match the container our slider options were disable almost everything, but set your speed to be 999. If you are going to use a testimonial carousel, then you want to show one slide. And uh, as it transitions, you only show one each time. Don't have it flick to show three. And in the style, set your width, your content width to be 100%. Let's now view this. I have a vertical scroll. I get down to this section. It might be a good idea to have an arrow or something to indicate that there is a scroll. And look, I can move it. And I don't have to like, like I can, I have freedom and flexibility of how it's going. I mean, if you want it to move at a gradual rate or whatever, you could decrease the speed that we've got in here. I actually realize it's not 9,999, it's actually 999,999. Just put six nines in, okay? Believe me, it works absolutely fine. But yeah, this, this is a great way. By the way, though, if you do go too far, you do get a bit of white. It doesn't, it kind of stops after a while like that but you might want to put in a black background or a color that fits your branding. But if you do want to have a mixture without using any extra plugin or any code or anything like that, and you're just using your native widgets, this could work for you. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.